Oh, you're doing sideways. <laughs> Hi, everyone, and welcome so much to um, the broadcast. We are doing a Periscope so that all the people who weren't able to attend can actually watch it live. And hello to all the replay viewers who end up watching it. My name is Valerie Larson. I um, love my job because I get to actually teach people how to read the backs of their labels. So it's extremely educational. It's one of those things I absolutely love. You don't have to guess them all right now, you know. Oh, okay. <laughs> She's like, I'm writing those all down. Um, I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself. Um, so I, I found this company. I always ate organic. I did a great job with that. I did, did that sprint triathlons and I run and very active and I was eating organic and I'm thinking, oh, I'm doing all the right things. And um, so I was introduced to this company uh, June 2013. And then July 2013, I went, well, it's $99. I'm just going to sign on because I get $300 a product and 30% discount. So I'm like, yeah, I'm just going to sign on for that. And then it became a bigger entity in the end, you know, it became this snowballing, just keep doing it. So, um, so I do love my job. I like that it's flexible. I like that, you know, I get to do mimosa parties for work. <laughs> I mean, who does that, right? I mean, that's perfect. Um, and I had a little trouble training for my next triathlon during the summer after I had signed on and I was using everything and I just loved it. It was actually extremely inexpensive for me to take what I had left in my house, get rid of it, and just put in a few things. For example, I only clean with two items. This is the um, scrubbing cleanser, and it smells like lemon meringue pie, and it's open and you can smell it. So it's extremely safe. You've got no toxins, fumes. You don't have to open your window. You're not going, ugh, and your eyes are watering because there's nothing in it. You can actually turn that over and read the whole label. Um, <clears throat> then... Uh, then I use the window cleaner. Not that I really do windows, but I have a boyfriend and he does windows. <laughs> no, you can't borrow them. <laughs> um, so as of October, I had gotten sick. I was having trouble running. I was having trouble breathing. I thought, wow, this is a pretty bad cold. And um, I went in and had some x-rays done because I literally, you know, that's how much trouble I had breathing. So then after some testing and x-rays and this and that, the doctor goes, well, you don't have pneumonia. I'm like, oh, what, why in the world is this? You have cancer. So I then lost another seven, eight months of my life. Um, so this is my hair growth. I'm 21 months out now, coming up on my two year clear Yay. anniversary. Yay. Yay. Love that part. Um, so the point to that, which is really important, is this is six haircuts. I mean, I was completely bald. And this is six haircuts, and all I use is a shampoo. I actually don't use a conditioner just because I don't need it. If I think my friends with longer hair, they use it on the ends to, you know, untangle and to keep it going. But I literally just use a shampoo. Oh, and this is day two hair. This is what day two hair looks like. So I think it falls into place okay, you know. Yeah. I'm like, oh, I did clip it because the bangs are down here, and it's very irritating. I'm like... Okay, this is irritating, <laughs> but it's getting there. I'm growing it out longer. So I absolutely love it. It's, it's the first ingredient on the shampoo is aloe vera. See, it's very concentrated. I actually marked my shampoo and it said 6-9-2015. I just replaced it the beginning of January. That's, That's six awesome. months for $15.95 and it ends up being like $2.67 a month. So people who go, I can't go organic, I can't get that safe stuff. I'm like, really, it doesn't cost that much. <laughs> so it's all in perspective. Um, so anyhow, that's kind of my story of how I got to this. Um, I'm sharing this important message because I really feel like people ask me that a lot. And when I go through some statistics, I'm fairly convinced because I do. People ask me that all the time. Well, what do you think? Of course, it's like this. Okay, we don't have to whisper. Toxins! <laughs> chemicals! That's what causes cancer, I'm just saying. Like, from everything I went through, that's what I, you know, that's what I truly felt and discovered. So, welcome to the Ava Hour, which really is about 15 minutes. And, you know, although, who did you say that to me? You can't talk for 15 minutes. I did. <laughs> <laughs> Tara's like, I don't think that's possible. I'm like, yeah, you're probably right. 
Um, so this is Ava. She started the company when she was 15. She's now 21. Um, she was watching a show with her mom and all these teenagers were, um, it was like a 2020, mm -hmm. one of those, and all these teenagers were tested and they were found to be, be positive for every single toxin, endocrine disruptor, everything when their blood was tested. So shockingly, it's because we don't know what's really in our product and we don't know what we're really putting on us. So to detoxify your body, probably if you just do just this, not mixing it with other things, is approximately two months. I can smell stuff like you would not believe. I can't believe how healthy I feel and how great that is. I can't, I'm not good in malls, because I'm like, what is that? <laughs> I love the people who are like, oh, do you want them? And I literally, I don't mean to be rude, but I'm kind of like, no thanks, I don't do toxins. And I keep walking. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, oh no, but it's not. I'm like, oh, don't even start, because I'll come over there and read that label for you and teach you what you're doing. <laughs> so um, that's who started the company. Um, so we're going to do a little quiz. I think you'll be surprised at some of the facts you're about to learn. I'll try to stick to this and read it so that I won't veer off too much, but it'll happen. How many toxic chemicals are banned in Europe and how many in the US? How many do you think are banned here? A very low number. Yeah. It, maybe like five to 10. That's oh. a good guess, 11. Yeah. Yeah. Europe <laughs> bans almost 1,400. Wow. You can't even, I think I posted in yours, did I post the yeah. one that, the article? And it's, it talks about how it might be in the other, I've had three Ava hours in a row, so it might be the other one I did, but I'll post it in yours too. It's, it's just an independent, it's not from us, it's just an independent article I read about how we have to clean, everybody in the States has to clean up and take out all those chemicals in order to ship it overseas and sell it because they, they have better regulations than we do. So that's amazing, but they leave it in for us because mm -hmm. it's much cheaper to make it yeah and it's all about the almighty buck as opposed to our health which then means the things like getting sick and pharmaceuticals and yeah it's a big circle <laughs> anyway off on a tangent so the u.s bans 11 and that's from the fda 2015 campaign for safe cosmetics manufacturers must clean up their products to export to european standards but they can leave these harmful chemicals in for us so i'm sure we all know what's your largest organ your skin Skin, we absorb 86% of everything you put on your skin into your bloodstream in 20 seconds. There's three areas of your body that are, that are different. You have three areas of your body that absorb 100% in 20 seconds. Your scalp, under your arm, and the groin area. Mm -hmm. And that would be because, if you think about it, that's where we sweat from. Right. So the pores are more open and that's how come you absorb it even quicker in those three areas. So when I first started, first things I did was shampoo, um, conditioner, and then I realized I didn't really need to, to use the conditioner. Uh, well, I had long hair then. <laughs> <laughs> so we did use conditioner, now I just don't. Um, and deodorant was the next thing I changed. Um, as I was sitting in my home trapped for seven months, um, bald, staring at the wall, thinking, reading as much as I could and learning things, I, I remember sitting there thinking, you know, if it, I don't know if you guys are probably too young to have had a mammogram yet, but when you go to have a mammogram, they say, do not wear deodorant, perfume, talc, because this area is so porous, and of course this is fatty tissue, mm -hmm. it goes right here and goes boom mm -hmm. and blocks your mammogram. So they can't get a good reading, that's why you're not allowed to wear anything when you go in. So then I thought, why don't the nurses tell me this? Like, don't they think it's important to say, yeah. do you know why we, because I'd be like this total traitor. I'd be there going, so, as I'm walking people out, do you know why I said you can't wear deodorant? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's the aluminum that goes right into you. So I, we have, um, and we're in a, we now do a round tube, but this is my other tube, um, which I'll end up using anyway. Um, we have organic deodorant. It is not an antiperspirant. The reason it's not an antiperspirant is God created us to actually have a little, you know, it, it would be like taping a dog's mouth shut. That's how mm -hmm. they humidify. This is what, you know, we were created this way for. So, do I occasionally get a little dampness here and there? I do. It was, you know, a little more in the beginning, but now it's a lot less now that I've adjusted. And um, it's, so it works. Oh, see, I have the other one right there. That's the new container. I like it. It's so cute. <laughs> um, so,
oh, oh, I, I think I feel some dampness. I'm like, oh, this better be working. And so I go, mm, and I'm like looking for drivers next to me. And I go like this, and I patted it, and I went, all right, I got it, I got it. <laughs> occasionally like it's usually when I'm if I get nervous like maybe right now no <laughs> um, so what do you think happens to toxic products you put on your skin they go through the skin and absorb into the bloodstream think of trans uh, transdermal delivery patches like nicotine patch estrogen patch they put it right on your body and it goes in I mean you, you, I wondered that for years I'm like how can I just put something on my body and it's gonna keep me from getting pregnant how is that possible you know, but now, as I understood, as I, you know, grown and learned, I went, oh, now I know why that works. Dr. Samuel Epstein, former head of the Cancer Prevention Coalition, it's more dangerous to put a product on your skin than eat it. That's because our bodies detoxify what we eat, our skin does not. How many toxic chemicals is the average woman exposed to before she leaves the home in the morning? According to the Environmental Working Group, it's about 168 toxin chemicals you put on. Well, because there's multiple things in each, you know, so you do your soap, shampoo, conditioner, moisturizer, and all your makeup. Um, so to help you, um, and to help make you more aware of what these toxins are contributing to, here are some interesting statistics. Amazingly, over 200 chemicals have been found in babies' blood cord, many which are toxic to the brain and nervous system cause cancer and or cause birth defects and abnormal development. And that's from the EWG 2009. One in two men and one in three women will be diagnosed with cancer during their lifetime. And that's from the American Cancer Society 2015 Facts and Figures. I don't know why it says men more than women, but mm, I, I don't know. But maybe I think to myself, well, maybe because men just don't talk about it as much. I don't know. Because it says more men. I'm like, mm. Mm. So then I had to start thinking like how many women I know that have cancer and how many men, yeah. but yeah. maybe we're just better at sharing. I think, in, I think so. Yeah. And six in one in sixty-eight U.S. children and one in forty-two boys have been, has, have been identified with autism spectrum disorder. That's up from one in eighty-eight in twenty twelve, and that's from the CDC twenty fourteen. More than five million Americans are living with Alzheimer's. And that's projected to increase to nearly 7.1 million in 2025, and that's from the 2004 Alzheimer's disease facts and figures. Most likely every single person here knows somebody who's been touched by one or more of mm -hmm. those diseases. So, how many people right now are thinking, starting to think about products in their homes? Show of hands. <laughs> raising my hand. Yeah. <laughs> I'm raising my hand. <laughs> She's got the periscopes going over there. Are you getting questions and things? Not yet. We have five viewers. Five viewers. Oh, and if you tap your screen, it gives hearts and snowflakes. Well, the snowflakes will pop There up. they come. There they come. Yeah. Everybody's oh. like, wow. Ashley says mine is raised. Her hand's raised. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thank you. I'm glad you're paying attention. Um, so where am I here? So this is... Um, some of the top things you should never read on the back of your labels. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go over some of that. And for all the people out there in Periscope land, you can send me an email. And I'm so happy to attach my top 24 list of uh, toxins that you shouldn't read on the back of your label. At least then that way you can stick it up on your fridge and you can go around your house and start, you know, doing your own investigation. Because the point of this, I mean, obviously I have a great product line and I know exactly what's in it and we produce everything in the US 95% of everything is made in-house in Rhode Island by the family so you know it's under control you know it's a safe product um, which is awesome and it supports the US economy but I would like love to give you that and and FYI you can return things oh that's always good when I was done with cancer I went to my um, I went up to my, <laughs> don't hear a button, you'll shut it off. <laughs> I went up to my um, cupboard and I took that down a whole bunch of stuff that was still left up there, like half used makeup remover. Remember how much that stings when you see you're like, oh, oh, oh. make sure mm -hmm. your eyes not closed. And I'm thinking, oh my gosh, what was I doing to myself? So you can take all that stuff, I put it all out, a big pile of it. I took a picture of it, I went to CVS, I went to Home Goods and Target. 
and Walmart will do the same. And I took all of them back. It took me a few minutes, but you just pass it across the counter. And I said, I'm returning all of this. It's used, two years old, open. It doesn't matter. They take it back. They will not give you cash. They'll give you a gift card. Well, that's okay. I can buy cards for people. Thank yeah. you for making me more aware. But what you do say, we encourage people to say, it's, you know, and there'll be two weeks of the year that's called take back year. Take back mm. your bad products. I mean, Nordstrom would take stuff back. If you've got bad makeup, you can take it back. Go buy shoes. <laughs> I'd be like, thanks for the gift card. Gotta go get some shoes. Shoes are non toxic. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. those are very important. <laughs> um, and they gave me gift cards. I had a gift card for $38 and change. So when I came home, I took a picture and I put it side by side and posted it. I'm like, people, take back those toxins. It's not worth it. But telling them when you return it is also important to say, I'm returning this because. I discovered it has toxins and chemicals that are very bad for my health and everyone's health in it, and that's why I'm returning it. So if you please give it back to the manufacturer and tell them that's why it's getting returned. Mm -hmm. And it just helps spread that message because the more of us that do it, you vote with your dollars. If we don't buy that stuff, they're not gonna mm -hmm. make it. Right. So you have that list on the back that you're taking home with you. You don't have to go over it. I'm just giving you an FYI, and so everybody else, I'm happy to send you that list. My email is B, Larson, L-A-R-S-E-N, photo at outlook.com. And I will post that on Tara's page just so if everybody wants it, I'm happy to share. So, fragrance is your first word. I'm going to go through just a handful of the words you should never read on the back of your label. Fragrance is your first word. Um, it can also be listed on the back of your label as perfume or perfume. These are catch-all words that manufacturers legally use to hide hundreds of ingredients. It's, also, it's called trade secret in the industry. The fact is many of the ingredients behind it are not good for us. More than 75% of products with fragrance are legally hiding phthalates. Phthalates are known endocrine disruptors and are linked with birth defects, breast cancer, diabetes, obesity, autism, and ADHD in the first and third trimesters of pregnancy. <clears throat> Sorry, and that's from the Campaign for Safe, Safe Cosmetics 2002, Not Too Pretty Report. I don't know why they put this in the middle of this whole thing, but they did. <laughs> I want to switch the pages because we're in the middle of one topic and then they switch. Anyway, this is the six-piece skincare set, which is what this whole line started with. And it's nice to know that now you can cover your whole house. Um, and, and it's very simple too. Like I said, I only use two ingredients to clean. This, by the way, is $12.95. And mine is only to here, and I bought it in April. You have to use very little of it to clean. Because the first time I went in my sink, then I'm like, oh, I just want to clean up my sink. I'm just, somebody's coming over. There was so much. I had to turn around and do the whole shower stall. I'm like, because <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to waste it. So now I'm in there cleaning up. And I'm like, I don't have time for this today. <laughs> But, oh, it was awesome. So it's nice to know that it goes so far, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, you're getting the value of, of it. So for $12.95, this is like huge. It goes a long way. Um, so this is what we started with was this six-piece skincare set. Um, and, of course, you know, now I'm going to do a side note. Uh, <laughs> she's like, see? Ooh, look. It's, ooh. ooh. <laughs> 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 She's showing it. Good job. Make <laughs> sure everybody gets a look at it. Um, that is all we started Got hearts. with. More hearts. More hearts. Yay. <laughs> um, that is all we started with. I have cyst acne. Um, I've always had a problem. Very, very bad. Um, I Since, since uh, when I was 18, I took Accutane. Mm -hmm. If everyone's ever taken Accutane, they make you sign waivers that if you get pregnant, you have to have an abortion. That's how Ooh. dangerous it is. And they have to test your liver every month that you're on it. It's, it, oh, it's terrible. And of course at 18, you're desperate to fit in and you're like all broken out. And I'm like, I'll do anything. Yeah, so I did that, which I wish I had never done, but because, you know, in a year and a half, I was back to where I started. So it was a waste of the, all that risk. Um, so I take a pill for 20 years. I've taken one pill every day, which is an antibiotic, which is so not good for your body to do. And I had two topicals. I did the one where, um, the one that burns, it would like burn the, the edges of my, you know, it, it, it would flake and burn and it was terrible. And you know, so then of course when I'm sitting there with cancer, I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I did that to myself. I did this to myself. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> I just didn't know better. Yeah. So when you know better, you do better. So 
I had that, and in the morning I had a, like a tube, I think it was called Phanacea, walked into my dad, my dad's 20 years older than me, walked into my dad's bathroom, and I'm like, oh, that's the same medication. I'm like, dad, you've got to stop using that stuff, it's terrible. So I went cold turkey. I stopped everything, and I went with a skin line. And I don't use every single thing, because I don't use the moisturizer, unless you're using it at night, because you really want it. It doesn't have an SPF, so I use the uh, moisturizer with SPF. Mm -hmm. I prefer this just because I want some S SPF coverage and it's it's a little lighter than that one. I don't know why, I just love it. So, and this again is $20.95, it lasts me six months. You have to use it very sparingly, it goes really far. So you definitely get your value out of everything. Um, so it took about seven weeks to adjust. So I, I only use this now. I use the cleanser every morning. I do now that we have hyaluronic acid. I put a little hyaluronic acid on it, lightens, brightens. I like that stuff. I know. Yeah. I'm like, I get it in, but you have to put a little moisturizer on top for it to sink mm -hmm. in properly. And that's how it works. So I've, I've, I've managed to do that this morning because I slept late. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, now I'll be out of the house in 10 more minutes. <laughs> I'm starting to feel more alive now. Um, so that's what I did. And this is what my skin looks like now. So... Every day, I love it. I love that I don't take anything. I take absolutely no medications. Every time I go back for my cancer checkups, they're like, oh, and what medications are you on? I'm like, and again, the answer is still no, none. That's <laughs> what I tell them. Oops, did I skip a page? Okay, endocrine disorders. Um, any of the moistures help with ex eczema? Yes. I have body butter that helps with eczema, but the best thing is dream cream. So... I have eczema on my arms. My doctor wanted to give me a steroid cream. Like, you know I'm not putting <laughs> that on my skin. Because it's just going to go in and I don't need to grow hair. I'm good with that, you know. <laughs> like, I'm not using it. So I use the um, Dream Cream. I believe that tube is $13.95 or $12.95. I think it's $13.95. It's really big. It should be here. Oh, here it is. I couldn't mm -hmm. spot it back there. This is the Dream Cream. Um, so this tube is pretty big. Oh, she's giving mm. it a close up. <laughs> <laughs> Get it up. Um, and that lasts a long time. It's great on burns, very dry skin, eczema, and it cuts psoriasis. My mm. ex mother in law orders it from me every like <laughs> six months. She does. What? So, you know, she obviously likes the product enough that she doesn't care. <laughs> yeah. So she orders it, and um, I put it on for three or four nights. Now, mind you, I just had it on my arms. Mm -hmm. I have some scars left from all the scratching and itching, and it's gone. I thought I was going to have to periodically keep using it, but it's gone. So, I mean, having it's great, and it does many other things. Every cut, scrape, a rash, mm -hmm. anything that breaks out, it's great to use for any of that. So, and I love We have safe. two more questions. Yes. Um, the SPF moisturizer, is that good for dry skin? Yes. Okay. Like dry skin, just like um, regular dry skin? Yeah, probably on the face, I believe. Yeah. Is... So yesterday's conversation was somebody asked me, well, I have oily skin, and then I have dry patches. Mature. She says mature skin. Mature skin. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it, it's fine. I'm <clears throat> 80. You'd never know it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just teasing. I, I got a heart. <laughs> Funny girl. Um, I'm actually, um, next month will be 47. You're so, looking good. Yeah, I'm looking pretty good. Closing in on 50. Um, that was the other question we got was about anti-aging. So the skincare and anti-aging. Yes, which I can give anyone more details about that. The, um, hi the hyaluronic acid I do use in the morning and at night I use the... Um, the anti-aging, which is our most expensive product. It's, uh, the night serum is only $29.95. And I say only because you can pay, I know people pay yeah. $120 for that, oh, yeah. and it has organic rosehip oil, which is one of the best and ingredients. And it smells amazing. Yes. <laughs> so so I, I, I use it, and I like my boyfriend, he's got this like crease here. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love my boyfriend. He's so cute. Um, but he's he had this, and I'm like, I'm just gonna try it on him for a while. Oh, no. he lays in bed now like this, and he goes, "Are you bringing me the oil?" <laughs> <laughs> so I like I I massage 
Josh today and I'm this. He's like, man, I wait for this all day. It's the best part. And he goes, and it smells so good. It's the same thing he said mm-hmm. to me. So he uses it too. I'm like, all right, now I'm going to have to order double. All right, let's get back to this. We're almost done. We, you've already heard me mention endocrine disruptors, and many common, co- common products have several more of these ingredient dangerous toxins in addition to phthalates and fragrance. Why is it so important? The endocrine system regulates all biological process in the body, including the brain and nervous system development, growth and function of the reproductive system, metabolism and blood sugar levels, ovaries, testes, pituitary, thyroid, and adrenal glands. On our product labels, on your product labels, look for the four worst offenders. So I'm, I'm only going, I'm not going over the whole 24 list, I'm just going over the top ones. Parabens. Parabens mimic estrogen and are suspected to be linked to breast cancer. And triclosan, which I have my stuff with me, I'll give you guys all a little uh, shot of it to try it. Triclosan is the active ingredient in antibacterial products. So, your hand sanitizers, your soaps that you have at your sink that have antibacterial because we all think that we need it. And I, I will say, you know, because I kind of thought that to myself in the beginning, I was a little concerned, like, well, don't I need this? Don't I need antibacterial? But since the day, if you don't count cancer as being sick, I've not had a cold, not been sick, nothing. And all I use is this product. I don't use anything else. And I carry the, the little anti uh, hand sanitizer. Like, I won't even touch the soap in the bathroom. Sorry. I rinse my hands and I put hand sanitizer on them mm-hmm. and I go out and use something on the handle of the door. Yeah. <laughs> like most of us do anyway. Um, and I don't, I haven't been sick in three years. Thank goodness. So obviously, so it this works. is their hand sanitizer or just any hand sanitizer? No. Mine, yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, so... She'll take the other hand sanitizer from you. She, <laughs> she took it from me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, that's mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and the hand sanitizer comes in a big bottle and two little ones for travel. And um, it took me almost two years. Now, there's only one of me. So if you have kids, it might take you a year to get through it. For $33 and knowing that you're not putting triclosan in on your body is important. So... The, an, the active ingredient of the, your antibacterial products is triclosan. This is a registered pesticide with the U.S. government. Mm-hmm. That's what we're putting on us, a pesticide. Plus the fact that it's got alcohol. Mine has tea tree oil. Everybody goes, well, how does it work? Mm-hmm. It's got tea tree oil, which is naturally so antibacterial. Tea tree oil, yeah. <laughs> there you go. See, yeah. she knows. Um, And it's got aloe vera and it's got some other essential oils like lemon and so when you smell it, it's very fresh. You don't have to put moisturizer on. You know how when you used to use that stuff, you're like, oh, my hands and it's sticky and you have none of that. It's awesome. I actually use a lot less moisturizer now. Oxybenzoin and oxitate. These are chemical UV ray filters found in many sunscreens and SPF products. More on harmful chemicals and sunscreens. Um, of course, you'll never find any parabens or anything like that in there. I'm not going over all this stuff. You guys can see it. It's just more the line. So avoid carcinogens. Ingredient detective class is almost over. Yay! But there's one more category. Back to mimosas. <laughs> <laughs> but there's one more category of toxins that's important to be aware of. You heard of carcinogens. A carcinogen is a substance or agent directly involved in causing cancer. One of the worst offenders is aluminum, causing cancer, aluminum, under the arm, Mm -hmm. because all deodorants have aluminum in them. Did you know that aluminum is the active ingredient found in many deodorants? Aluminum is bioaccumulative, meaning it stores in your fat cells and accumulates. Simply changing your deodorant is a good first step in reducing your chemical body burden. And we, of course, we have that as deodorant with no aluminum, aluminum no, par, no parabens, no harmful chemicals, the safest deodorant that really works and it smells good. I do have a handful of people who will tell me. Um, I think I just posted the, the, there's, I think I just posted on hers that there's a, I did a comparison of the um, deodorants. Many people will tell me, oh, I've had this, oh, I need my own deodorant. I am so glad you have time for that. I do not. I don't even have kids and I don't have time for that. I work two jobs. I have a dog and a boyfriend to keep me busy. I just can't do it. Um, So in your sunscreens, retinol palamate, the national 
Toxology Program 2011 released a report that says, in the presence of sunlight, retinol palamate can enhance skin cancer lesions. Look at your labels and you'll see this on many of your sunscreens and moisturizers. So they put something in there that enhances cancer chance. It makes no sense to me, but okay. And then the last one is nanoparticles. A nanoparticle is very important to note that most manufacturers of mineral sunscreens are using nanoparticles of zinc oxide. Obviously zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. Zinc oxide obviously is in your, your, um, your sunscreens. So you remember, don't you remember back in the, like, you know, when we were kids and you'd see the lifeguard with the white uh -huh. nose? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because then we were actually using zinc oxide more the way it was supposed to be done. So, um, what happens is, is now manufacturers, they pulverize those metals, those two metals for it into billions of bits. Because we live in a society where we want easy, fast, quick, mm -hmm. right. spray it on, it's done. So, you know, the problem with, of course, zinc oxide is that it takes a little bit to get it in. These pulverized metals are so small that they cross the cell barrier and they bury into organs. They're also known to cause free radicals in skin cells, damaging your DNA. Um, we do not use um, zinc oxide that have nanoparticles. So you'll see ours say non-nanoparticle. So when you take this and you, you take it out and put it on your palm, you'll see, see the little teeny bumps? Yeah, I don't know if everybody can see that. Okay. Mm -hmm. so the little teeny bumps are the actual... Okay, well, let's do it with this one too. We've got multiple cameras going. <laughs> <laughs> We've each got it. So you see those little bumps, and then what happens is when it warms, and you can feel them, so, so you're just going to take it and put it on your skin to warm it, which you know is going to take, take a couple of minutes to, to do that. Anyway, and then you just go like this, and as it warms up, look at that. Now yeah, you nice. can find it yourself, and it's nice and creamy, and you can use it without a problem, so it's all smooth. And then generally what I do is I just put it on, and I'll go like one, two, three, four, and then I go back because as it warms, it will blend in. Yes, exactly. <laughs> um, and so, you know, do I occasionally see a little white crease in there? I'm like, I do. Well, I don't care because <laughs> I'm not putting toxins and poisons on my body and it's not varying into, it's, it's hard to get those out. So whatever uh, we've all done to ourselves, it's there. You know, it'd be very hard to, to backtrack on that one. But the rest of everything else you can get out of your body. Um, the last thing I want to recommend, um, by the way, is, so there's the SPF one for face. So I've got to order a couple of these because i got about 20 days to go till I leave for the Caribbean. What are the little ones? Those are, these are SPF 15. The okay. regular lip balms also have oh, SPF 8. Oh, those are the lip balms, okay. Yeah, the little lip balms. Yeah, those are, and they're oh, thicker, okay. you know. Um, so like anything, I don't leave it in the summer, especially here. Holy moly. I almost burnt my hand. It's my first summer here. I'm like, ah, my car is hot. <laughs> like, yeah. no, why do people want garages? So bug spray, our, our bug spray is organic and, con and contains, of course, no DEET. It's highly effective natural repellent for fleas, mos mosquitoes, and ticks. It's made with lemongrass, rosemary, peppermint, and catnip essential oil. Catnip is proven to be 10 times more effective than D. Um, I use bug spray on my dog. So my little Frenchie, when she goes out, she gets, um, she gets that sprayed on her probably every other day. I may do every third day or fourth day now that it's winter because I don't, they're not as active. But I still do put it on her because they're in the grass and she likes to go up into the woods. So um, it keeps fleas and ticks and uh, gnats off of her, mosquitoes also. Um, I used to use Frontline, but has anybody, has anyone used Frontline on their dog? Yeah, mm -hmm. it yeah. makes my dog, I've stopped using it, but it makes her pace and she acts all antsy, like it's. Yeah, and people tell me that all the time mm -hmm. and they'll have seizures. So if you take, here and there, if you take the backs of those, those labels and you actually read them, like the fine print to it, 
may cause seizures, apply with gloves, do not use, you know, do not let your children touch the dog for two days. How, yeah. how are you gonna yeah. do that? Like, yeah. don't, don't touch Freddy, you know, you, mm -hmm. it's not gonna happen. And you know they're getting it on the carpet, right. and the mm -hmm. couch, and so it's just spreading extremely dangerous toxins everywhere. And of course then I thought about it, and I'm like, so if I put this down my dog, you know, who doesn't like it, and I don't like the smell of it, and I had to rub it in, and you know, and I was thinking, well, this is what I'm supposed to do, and this is like a good 12, 15 years ago when I first started using it. And I'm like, but then, then a tick crawls up there, and it's like, it's so funny when they die too. Like they, they curl up and they're like, boom, and you find them on the ground. They're like, wow, what is that? Oh, it's a tick. Um, I my, put it on my first Akita who died um, at eight and a half years. Started having seizures. So the seizures, we couldn't, we didn't know what was up with the seizures. So we take the dog in. Oh, well, dog's having seizures. There doesn't seem to be anything wrong, blah, blah, blah. And it didn't occur to me right away that it was the front line and I figured it out later. So then we gave medication for, um, for the seizures, which then affected the liver, and the liver had to keep getting checked. Then the liver went into failure, and we had to put the dog down. Right. He, he, he couldn't eat, you know, and I'm like, how sad is that? Second Akita comes along. I wasn't really prepared, but it did. <laughs> and she was a sweetheart. We just put her to sleep last fall um, from old age, 12 and a half years never had frontline and never was on um, um, pesticide infected grass all natural and I, I thought to myself there's the huge difference it, ju it just proved everything I've said I mean that's amazing so um, I think we're done I really want to thank everyone for listening and I know I didn't stay in a 15 minute range <laughs> <laughs> so we will um, sign off if you have more questions Thank you for watching again. If you have more questions, again, I'm Valerie Larson. My handle is Valpix, and um, I will post in Tara's um, Knowledge is Power um, Facebook invite. So if you have any additional questions, you're ha I'm happy to answer them. Mom wants to know if you use anything for heartworm. I don't. I don't have something for that one. I'm afraid I have to keep using that. But if yeah. anybody comes up with something <laughs> that would actually do it, let me know. So that's the only thing I still use that I can't find a substitute for. And I've asked a lot of other people who are really, really into that. And they only use this and essential oils and yeah, people who make money. dog food. I'm like, you yeah. make dog food? I have to learn how to do that. Because <laughs> it'll probably save me a lot of money. Um, so I'm sorry. No. Ashley said thank you. Thank you, Ashley, for coming. Thank you, friends. I'm back here on the other side. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, please save it. Do what you do.